wanted to do a follow-up video with the uh, perpetual generator to generate electricity with two electric motors. Also, I'm researching other ways of producing energy uh, with making your own batteries. I got a couple motors. I found a couple electric motors from uh, my step-grandpa's house. And uh, I'm just going to experiment with those. And I admit I don't know much about it. But the thing that I do on my channel is I discover things. And I wonder about a lot of things. So there's probably a lot of people who know more about this than I do. And uh, you probably have a lot of things to say to me. But uh, my, my point is I'm just discovering and I'm learning. So, and that's what I want to do a lot of and I found a $5,000 house and that was just from me discovering how the the uh, system works and how I could get in there and get the deal and so my I have a video about that but I wanted to just generally give an update about what I'm gonna do with these electric motors I don't I don't know very much about it but uh, I'm just going to dive in. I'm not going to fear what people say. I'm just going to just uh, go ahead and learn about it. And I, in the end, I come out with an education. So I generally don't share anything unless I know it can be confirmed. And uh, basically, I just share something that I'm curious about. And then you can go and confirm it for yourself. And you can collect these things around the house or it's pretty cheap at the store and you can confirm it for yourself to see if it's true or not. These batteries that I'm going to experiment with is just a basic copper pipe with Epsom salts, uh, some other crystal salts, and then uh, some uh, magnesium rods that I have. So I'm going to experiment with that. It's a very easy experiment, and you could have a virtual, you know, endless battery. I mean, it, I, I know it's not endless, but you can, it'll last for years. I, I've seen other videos where people are doing this. So I just wanted to confirm it for myself and, and see if it's true. So you can look forward to videos of me experimenting with these things, uh, seeing if they work or not. Uh, I know there's a lot of videos out there that are uh, that spread a lot of distractions and misinformation. I know it's really frustrating because people are trying these things and they're not working. And some people have these videos that are hoaxes, basically. And I, I know that's out there, but I also know that there's a lot of information that are that is kept from the public. And there's a lot of... Uh, research and a lot of scientific scientific uh, discoveries that have been made that has been kept from the public and so since I know that that happens I know that I can start questioning pretty much everything that we've that we've been learning in we we know that uh, we could start wondering about you know what what, what's what do we use what do we what information has been held back what simple little contraptions uh, can we put together that will uh, that we could put together ourselves that we don't have to rely on some other person we could make sure it works and we could just make it work I know uh, Tesla had a lot of research people are putting together this research and they're uh, thinking on their own and putting this these concepts together like an earth battery uh, like drawing uh, somehow getting uh, the, the energy from uh, certain minerals to, to activate and to make useful power out of it and that's what these batteries are that I'm going to make so, and I, as soon as you capture the concept, you could start experimenting with the theory of it and getting and pushing the research of Tesla even further. 
and discovering what he was already doing. Because uh, we know that when he was researching all of his stuff that he wanted to do, he had a philosophy that he wanted to provide electricity for everybody for free. And it didn't have any wires or hookups. I mean, we or meters. And the, the res he approached a lot of uh, investors. Uh, I, think, I think it was JP Morgan or something like that. Uh, that responded he says no we don't want to do what you're doing because you can't put a meter on it so that's that situation right there and what they said encapsulates, encapsulates the idea what we're talking about like these power lines I know it's crazy to say but we don't have to live with these power lines we don't ha th this is exactly what happened in that moment Tesla could have gone forward with his with what he was going to do and we wouldn't have to deal with power lines but uh, I mean they want to put a meter on everything with gas water, electricity all of these essentials that we need so we're reliant upon it and they make money. As soon as we grasp a hold of that concept we know that it's that this is happening, that it's real. And then we could start asking more questions. Well, well, what is available? What, what have we not had available to the public that they don't want us to know? What are we discovering that, that they don't want us to discover? A lot of these videos that are showing people put it, putting together a, a battery that you could make on your own, or a generator like I'm going to experiment with. You can tell that these people have struggled to get funding or, or try to get the word out and from their research. I know there's like a, a magnet motor that people are putting together. Uh, I I mean, just based off of the, the information that, that we could go off of logic, logically you could, you could make a mechanical thing work uh, from magnets. And we know that it works. We know that uh, it already exists. It exists in these motors that I'm about to experiment with. So, and I've seen other contraptions where they use a flywheel in between the motors to give it some centripetal force. Also, like some uh, uh, people have put a smaller motor, electric motor, and then multiplied the volts and they were able to power a generator which powered the original first motor so these ideas I'm I, I get excited about I don't know everything about it uh, but I get excited because I know that the wool has been pulled over our eyes and we and there's a lot of things that have been held back and so I I there's a great deal of wonder that I have into discovering what those things are for myself because you have to sift through all of the hoaxes and all the things and there's a reason why there's a lot of hoaxes because they're trying to distract from doing your own research and, and figuring it out on your own and the, it's exciting to me it's frustrating but it's exciting so this is what I'm going to be discovering I'm going to I'm going to do these on my own and I'm just basically showing you what I'm doing it's it's I'm gonna be looking like a five-year-old as if you know I'm discovering these things on my own for the first time other people may be making you know fun of me for what I'm doing but I don't care this is the first time I've dived into this stuff I'm not gonna let those uh, fears hold me back or whatever I'm just gonna keep going with it and that's that's exactly the spirit of I think what people do when they discover things and and so that's what I'm gonna do and and there's another video I did it was about how to mount a tire and get it sealed seated on there and I did a video you could actually watch it but nobody has discovered this way of doing this of getting a, a tire on there they're using all sorts of different methods like you know spraying some ether in there or something and and letting the tire explode a little bit so it jump it pops back onto the bead and then there you could put a ratchet strap around it or you could 
blow some air into it, uh, some compressed air, and it'll blow it onto the bead. But I discovered a way to to do it without very many tools. Basically, just with an air compressor, you could just uh, do it with out of any other tools other than that and so that's just that's the idea that's what I'm doing is I'm looking for a better way of doing things there there's always a better way and often what we run into these days is basically we're running into regulations against being innovative we run into uh, legislation that restrict being innovative they they really control this stuff and you can't touch the meters and you can't be off the grid and you can't uh, there are codes certain co building codes and stuff you can't get around and you can't build a house other than what materials are available of what they say you could do and they they watch a lot of people closely to make sure they're you know do with it doing everything on the grid and properly and they don't allow other alternative methods uh, sometimes they even don't even let you do solar panels or, or windmills or anything so there's a lot of you can start putting the puzzle pieces together and you could start uh, people are starting to wake up to this stuff and I I'm waking up to it and I'm I'm starting to look around myself look around in my uh, living conditions of my environment and to see what what other things have have we've been distracted from what what are the things that we can do to really uh, stop uh, our current living condition and our slavery and this is just one step for me to get uh, get a house of my own I was able to do that through a miracle and I have a constant prayer in my heart and a constant wonder about what else I can do. The next step is going to be the uh, power generation and being self-sufficient with that, even beyond solar panels. So I have some solar panels. I was going to put a small array on my roof and also a little battery bank. Uh, it won't be much, but it'll be pretty much, uh, it, I could run basic things off of it. So, uh, but I'm not even satisfied there. I want to go further and get to the point where I can get off of this thing. I want to get off of that thing. And I know this is people. So what are the things that come to mind when you say, want to get off of that? We think of the city code. We think of the, the legislation. You think of, um, the law, you think of all of these things that are all the companies that'll come after you, uh, the, the, the city council or whatever, whoever it is, the uh, inspectors, uh, you think of all these things about why that meter has to stay there and it has, you have to be hooked up to it. And then there, then it goes beyond that. It goes into the water and also electricity, the same concept. And so people want to get off of that like like crazy now and now that we are starting to wake up to the the, the situation you know of, like wait it doesn't have to be like that we don't have to constantly be hooked up into the grid we could be independent uh, they wouldn't make money off of it you know all the big companies electric companies and whatever I'm not concerned about them going bankrupt I really don't care and uh, but they want to stay in control, and they they go to great lengths to to be able to keep that control. So all these um, I have a lot of ideas of how to be able to do that. Um, just I mean, just water. I mean, I was thinking of water. I was going to do a concept where I can uh, kind of like with my cargo trailer over here, um, basically put a tank in there, a uh, holding tank. Uh, put it up here in the in the house here or something and let gravity give it some pressure or just have a little pump that runs off of of, of a battery and then I can uh, have water in case something happens to the water line and I could be self-sufficient that way and I could just use a tank uh, like that over there catch capture rainwater 
or just store water in it and then I'll have water for emergencies and still have um, running water during that time. So that's the that's another thing I wanted to do. Um, so this house has a lot of plans to it for the future, going into the future, not just to get it self-sustaining now, but to look forward into the future of what we all can do to find our self-sufficient uh, situation. So I was talking to a, a friend yesterday about all of this stuff, housing, all this stuff. We are locked into a grid. I know it's not going to be easy to get out. There's going to be a lot of uh, perseverance and a lot of whatever. You know, if a, anything can happen in the, right now, because as we're waking up, they're freaking out about keeping their system going. But uh, hopefully we can keep um, keep talking about this stuff, keep sharing ideas with uh, trusted sources, experimenting with ideas, trying to do these things, not listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to people who are, you know, saying, don't do that, it's too dangerous, don't do that, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, all the ideas have been done. Um, you know, everything's being discovered so right now, so don't look into that. Look into, I mean, look into Tesla and his research with frequency and how to turn that into electricity. Uh, look up earth magnet or earth, uh, yeah, earth magnets and earth, um, whatever they call it. I think it was earth magnets, but they generally, they can make a magnet and generate power just by uh, burying a copper wire, uh, copper pipe or something. So I'm going to be looking into that, but I know the concept. I know, I understand the, the concept. You can generate power, uh, magnets and, uh, conducting electricity and funneling that into, and then multiplying volts and stuff like that. So the, the concept is real. It's just a matter of doing enough research to figure out uh, how to make it work and how to make it work efficiently. That's that's all the really the research is but So but but overall keep wondering I mean don't stop wondering don't stop creating don't stop experimenting if any of these people say uh, Discourage Experimenting being creative or looking into something don't listen to it at all but uh, Yeah, I know there's a lot of opposition out there but we're we're really at a, an important part of our lives, and we're we're looking at um, a big shift in our culture, in the world, really, not just the United States, but we're looking at a big shift because people are starting to think on their own. So this is just going to be one example of the whole of what I'm doing right now. Right now, so I'm going to share. Once I find out some, I'll share it. I, I don't care if it's gonna, I'm not gonna hold it secret so I can make money off of it. I'm not gonna uh, be intimidated by people. I'm gonna share it when I find it. And I may be a little ignorant about some things that I'm discovering, but uh, whatever it is, I'll share it. I'll, I will share it. And so you'll get to look forward to that. Anyways, this is what my channel is about. It's an extreme budget. I mean, and my goal is to get down to zero. And, uh, yeah, pretty much that. We'll look forward to all the how this unfolds. I don't know how it's going to unfold, but we'll discover it together.